And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some standalone mid range. And tuning this for our uh, new format with a whole lot of burn in it. And if you watch the uh, Mage Seeker Thresh deck that we just played, you would have noticed that we played against a bunch of burn. And I've been seeing a lot of burn just in, in general. It's a really, really good deck. So kind of thinking like, what can we play to fight burn decks? And I want to try uh, standalone again. And so basically, basically the, one of the reasons why is because we get to play three health potions. And this is just a really good card in our deck because we can either heal, um, you know, one of our, our creatures that we're, that we're pumping up a bunch with standalone that takes some damage. We can use health potion that way. Or if they're just using a bunch of burn spells right at us, we get to heal our nexus. So really like health, health potion in this kind of deck. We're playing the full three. Um, besides that, um, I am also adding in a couple of Radiant Guardians to just give me some more uh, potential lifesteal. Also playing a Spirit's Refuge. Haven't really played Spirit's Refuge too much in this deck. Honestly, it may... It may end up being where I want more, even more Spirits Refuge and less Repose. Like maybe we want to switch those uh, one and two, but we'll we'll try it like this for right now. Um, playing the Radiant Guardians, also you know playing a Judgment in this deck against uh, all the creatures that they go wide. We can have a Judgment. Now I've played like two Judgments before, and I really do like um, Judgment, um, but. Uh, and, you know, but I wanted to give this this card a try, Dawn and Dusk. And this is the reason. We're going to also be trying Unyielding Spirit. We're playing the full three copies of Unyielding Spirit in this deck. Um, because we're playing Unyielding Spirit, we don't really have to play Deny. Deny is not so great in this metagame. It is good against, you know, like a, a Decimate or so. But usually you don't have time to sit back and, and Deny. You need to be playing to the board. Um, <clears throat> the... You kind of need to deny, though, against a card like um, Ruination. Because, you know, Ruination would just, would just you know, destroy whatever you're trying to stand alone. And you, you really need to deny to protect against that. But now we have Unyielding Spirit. So hopefully we can just use that. Uh, maybe we need deny because of Will of Ionia. We'll, we'll kind of see um, how the metagame goes. But uh, going to go with Unyielding Spirits. And, and then I'm going to go with the Dawn and Dusk. Because if we have something that we have unyielding spirited then we dawn and dusk it then they won't die you know ephemeral means they they die uh, whenever it strikes or the round ends but if it can't die then they'll just stay out so we could end up having like you know like three zeds or three solitary monsters stuff like that all right so to fit to fit in some of these different cards you may notice i'm not playing any relentless pursuit relentless pursuit um, you know, the three mana rally. There it is. Three mana rally. That card is really good in like mid range matchups to give you like that extra attack, help you uh, race your opponent. But when you're playing against a burn, this card is not so good against the burn deck because they're already so fast that if you actually get to the point where you can kind of stabilize, um, like, like that's what you need to do. You need to try to focus on getting to the point where you can stabilize and like the relentless pursuits. Um, doesn't really help with that so i don't know i'm going to try cutting relentless pursuit for some some other stuff but maybe maybe it just has to be faster maybe ha so that's why i'm calling this like more of a mid-range deck because we're sitting back you know we have judgment we got like some some bigger things we're more mid-rangey we're not just all aggro um, with relentless pursuit and everything in this kind of deck but let's give it a try um you know I, certainly i may regret not having the second judgment i may regret not having real ls pursuit um may regret only playing one spirit's refuge but that's that's what we're trying right now so yeah ultimate real yep we're we're playing a demacia deck right now up up next we're gonna be playing demacia sacrifice we'll be playing a demacia deck then also so yeah our next two decks are both both have some demacia in there And here we go, playing against Burn. So I'm basically keeping, keeping Health Potion because it's a Burn deck, and Standalone is like our most important card. Now we just need to draw any of our threats. Um, those aren't really a threat, so we just gotta, by turn three, hopefully we find a Zed or a Fiora. No 
Something like that. So we got one more draw. Come on. Threat. Come on, threat. Ugh. Five mana. Uh, the card that I replaced Radiant Champions with is I had the four mana, two, three. I'm just going to cast this now because we're just going to be wasting our mana anyway. We had the four mana, two, three that gave something else plus two, plus two, and I'm playing Radiant Guardian instead of that card. So I didn't re I didn't replace like a three mana card. Uh, things can't go right today, can they? Yep, GG's. GG's. We need one of the the first eleven though. Fiora Zed, Solitary Monk, Shadow Assassin. We gotta have one of those. Just to play the game. There we go. We got one. Definitely see keeping twin disciplines. It's like keep that. I guess this is an aggro deck too, so Spirit's Refuge isn't bad. I think I'll just keep those. We just really want to find standalone though, that's the thing. Yeah, see, I, I should just mulligan this Twin Disciplines, because these other cards are just also Twin... Twin Disciplines. Yeah, I played a, a Yasuo Swain deck I liked. So the Yasuo Swain we played yesterday, uh, it didn't start off the best, we made some changes like halfway through the video and uh, changed the deck up and I, I liked that. And the, the link there is the, the new updated list. You're welcome. Who's ready to I guess we're really doing this. Sharp blade, sharp mind. Strike without worry. Hey, what's up, Yud? Yeah, right, we need more puff caps. Always need more puff caps. Let them eat so. All down. Could break up the barrier. Yay. They didn't. Basically, I couldn't use the health potion to save the Fiora. So instead of using the twin disciplines, which would save it, um went with that that was gonna gain us life because we weren't gonna have like ideally I didn't want to use one of those and I wanted to bank three mana, so ideally I'd be able to have judgment next turn. But we weren't like that wasn't gonna be an option.
Um, I have not played any Bilgewater Teemo decks, no. Getting down to one. Down to two. Down to one. That's why health potion's good. Got to stay at one. Whew, barely. Barely got there. Barely. I know, right? Yeah, like, I have now become, yeah, I have now become more lazy at math. I used to, like, whenever we first started playing, I used to do all the math and everything. And now, now that I've gotten used to using that eye, you, you really don't need to do math. <laughs> yeah. The eye just tells you what's going to happen. It's, I kind of stopped, you know, beating my head against the wall of, like, doing the math. It's just like, wait, why, why am I wasting the time? And just... But yeah, coming from Magic, used to doing all that combat math. Mirror match. So we're probably behind in the mirror. Hmm. I want to keep Dawn and Dusk. I feel like I do. They were behind in the mirror because I'm not playing Rally. <laughs> in Magic, you do all the math and then Arena bug out and make it whatever you wanted. <laughs> Oh man, can we set this up? Turn six, dawn and dusk. Pledge yourself to the shadows. You know, maybe play like unyielding spirit on turn five, and then dawn and dusk the unyielding spirit thing, and make two more, and then then you just get to keep them for good. So, like we have our combo. Thing is the game's probably over either way before that right like it's probably decided one way or the other that's a good draw nothing to hold me back Two standalones. No. Without a sound. No.
kind of want to pass. They have the ability to play two things. I have the ability to play one thing. If I pass, I can play the Unyielding Spirit. If I don't pass, I can't play Unyielding Spirit. Hopefully they don't have Will of Ionia. No, are you kidding? I was said that sarcastically. How does everybody have everything? Yeah, Robert, I'm doing great. Slow down, will you? Except for we can't we can't win a game today. Well, my plan was to have six unyielding things, because like if I would if I would have dawn and dust the Zed, like if that would have resolved, like we would have had we would have had three Zeds that were all they like they were ephemeral, but they would all would have been unyielding. So like they would none of them would have died, and then they would have attacked, and they would have kept the same keywords, and so then none of them would have died. So we would have had six things that none of them would have died, but they had the will of Ionia. I mean, yeah, I could have just straight up attacked immediately, and then we would have had two things, and I would have been, that would have played it a lot safer. Yeah, I went I went with the greed for like the really cool here's here's six things that can't possibly die. Cause, Cause that deck usually doesn't play Will of Ionia, but I guess I guess people are playing it now because of because of those scenarios. But yeah. They usually like they have deny. That's what I was thinking was like the worst case scenario was deny. But no, whatever. <laughs> Today, it's just... It's always, it's like, oh, they have the two Riposte to kill me. Oh, they have, like, the Noxious Fervor is the card that kills me. Oh, they have... Their last two cards are both Decimate that kills me. Oh, well, they're, we're attacking for lethal. They have to top deck get excited because we're at three. Oh, they did. Those are all things that have happened today. It's been, like, the exact card that, that wins the game for the opponent they've had. Yeah, it goes, I'm here for the one-time only play, so it's fine. I know, right? Like, that would have been... That would have been incredible, having six, you know, indestructible Zeds. That would have been amazing. So basically keeping, you know, like, I was keeping, like, the Shadow Assassin as, like, a 5-5 five five that had the life steal, and we could pump it up plus three power so I could, so I could make, have a gain eight life. Um, but, you know, we'll do it with the Fiora. Looks like.
Don't really want to use the lifesteal barrier this turn. If we don't have to. Because we can gain a lot more life if I wait till next turn to lifesteal barrier. So I can just do this. The problem being, of course, if they, could, if they have Noxion Fervor, they kill their own thing. And then I don't gain life. Maybe I needed to last turn. And just gain the seven, gain the six, it would have been. Because like this turn we can gain 13. Just do I do I go for it where I never I guess I can't gain thirteen. I was thinking I could double spell with that, but no I can't. Yay, gain 10. I basically decided it was better to go for it now than give them another chance to draw. Like, they, they need Noxion Fervor or Get Excited. First one's free. One of those two cards. They're going to Mystic Shot the thing that I block. Come on, really? You think that I'm not going to be able to protect my Fiora? Like, that's, that's the play? Got to Mystic Shot your own guy. I guess that's kind of a losing battle just trying to... Actually, you know, I, I like going for it like like that because that's a losing battle because I have to, like, Mystic Shot something every single turn. All right, well, we're 2-2 two two still. That's not bad. That's, that's respectable. That's respectable. Okay, Karma Lux, you get out of here, and is Barrier not in any good? I don't think so. Let's find Standalone. Sweet. Ooh, we actually get a single combat. This can be a tough matchup because presumably they're playing Deny and Will of Ionia. Those two cards, in particular, Will of Ionia, are cards I don't want to see. Really, Will of Ionia. It blows out my standalones. Life difficult. All right, let's mess some folks up. All right.
Just please don't have Will of Ionia. That's the game right now. Uh, our opponents are batting 100% on... Please don't have this card. They immediately cast it. 100%. Not exactly sure how we're winning this. You will be scoured from this land. Just the way I like it. This is my current plan. necessarily the best plan. So yeah, I could single combat. Yeah, what do you see? Just too much blowout potential with single combat, I feel like. Great. Great. Well now I gotta kill that thing. Can't they can't get another two. Another two power card. We will regain what we have lost. Mm. Okay, so there's one thing that I would change about this deck. Um, I do like, you know, like all the health potions for the, the burn matchup, because the burn, you know, their burn matchup is very popular, but, um, you know, I wanted to play, I want to try like Radiant Guardians to try to help out in that matchup even more, but I honestly wouldn't, I, I think that, uh, they're probably too slow, even for that, and I, I think I'd just rather have Grizzled Rangers, so... We're gonna play two Grizzled Rangers instead of those two, and then also I did like the Spirit's Refuge quite a bit, and I liked that probably more than Repost. And so I would. There's definitely times where like Repost giving you like that extra damage is really necessary though. So I would go two Spirit's Refuge, one Repost. I would switch those two numbers, and then um, and then the Radiant Guardians turn into Grizzled Rangers. But. kind of about it um could see taking out like a radiant strike for the third shadow assassin i did trim a shadow assassin and we saw like that first game i, I lost because i couldn't find a creature um you know also also possibly the dawn dusk is too cute definitely um 
I like it, so I want to play it, but um, certainly, certainly possible that's too cute. Maybe, maybe take out one Radiant Strike for a Shadow Assassin. I don't know if seven is too many of the one mana cards. Like, maybe, like if you want six instead or not, just not sure. Um, but yep, my opponents came ready. They had, they had the cards they needed. Came ready. They had the Will of Ionia for my Unyielding Spirit creature. Man, we were gonna have such a cool, cool uh, turn with that Unyielding Spirit. Dawn and Dusk was gonna be awesome. We cast on Yielding Spirit two times. My opponent immediately Will of Ionia before they, before like we got to, you know, do anything with it both times. So you know that's that's life. All right, standalone mid range. We're at least getting closer. We're two and three <laughs> with this deck. All right, but we got two more to play. Um, so <laughs> hey, new bloco. Hey. All right, those y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and uh, you know, feel free to leave those comments. Uh, let me know if you have these kind of days, like where everything goes wrong, where everything that can go wrong does go wrong. Um, let me know if you have those kind of days as well. All right, but that's all I got. Thanks for watching this with Standalone Midrange, and I'll see you for the next video.